welcome my dear students myself jayvai lashkar faculty member of ss college today i am going to discuss the first unit of accountancy and the name of the unit is introduction to accounting so let's start our class as the name of the unit is introduction to accounting so first of all we have to know the meaning of accounting accounting it is the analysis and interpretation of financial transaction accounting is the analysis and interpretation of business transaction it includes not only the maintenance of accounting records but also the preparation of financial and economic information which involves the measurement of transactions and other events relating to the entity in simple words we can say that accounting is the art of recording the financial transactions <clears throat> now let us discuss the objectives of objectives of accounting the first objective of accounting is to keep systematic records accounting is done to keep a systematic record of financial transactions in the absence of accounting there would have been terrific burden on human memory which in most cases would have been impossible to bear now the next object is to protect business properties accounting provides protection to business properties from unjustified and unwarranted use accounting provides informations regarding the amount of proprietor's fund invested in the business how much the business has to pay to others how much the business has to recover from others how much the business has in the form of fixed assets cash in hand cash at bank stock of raw materials work in progress and finished goods etc which help the proprietor in assuring that the funds of the business are not unnecessarily idle or underutilized now the third objective of accounting is to ascertain the profit or loss accounting helps in ascertaining the net profit earned or loss suffered on account of carrying the business 
this is done by keeping a proper record of revenues and expenses of a particular period the profit and loss account is prepared at the end of a period and if the amount of revenue is more than the expenditure incurred in earning that revenue then it is said to be a profit in case the expenditure exceed the revenue it is said to be a loss now the next objective that is the objective number 4 is to ascertain the financial position uh, as we know that the profit and loss account gives the amount of profit or loss made by a business during a particular period however it is not enough the businessman must know about the his financial position that is where he stands and what he owns so this objective is served by the balance sheet or we can call it position statement it is a statement of assets and liabilities of the business on a particular date it serves as barometer for ascertaining the financial health of the business now move on to the advantages of accounting so the first advantages of accounting is provides complete and scientific record accounting is meant to maintain complete record of financial transactions during the accounting period of an entity now the next of um, advantages next advantage is information regarding performance and position um, accounting provides information regarding performance and position accounting cycle after recording moves on to prepare final accounts which reveal how much profit has been earned or loss suffered during the period under this system balance sheet is also prepared which tells the financial position of a business on that date next one is evidence in legal matters uh, properly maintained accounts supported by authenticated documents can be produced as a proof of matters and can be admitted by the courts as evidence now the next one is useful for owners or management accounting helps and guides the management or owners in planning the business activities taking certain decisions fair choice of alternatives is involved 
and collecting the business operations to ensure the achievement of goals. Now, the limitations of accounting. So, the first limitation of accounting is it ignores important non-monetary information. Accounting does not consider the transactions of non-monetary in nature like loyalty and efficiency of the employees, changes in the value of money, technical innovations possessed by the business etc. which are also important matters. So any user of accounting information is naturally deprived of vital information which is of non-monetary character. Now the next limitation the next limitation is it does not provide timely information. Accounting is designed to supply information in the form of statements like balance sheet, profit and loss account for a period normally one year. The business requires timely information at frequent intervals to enable the management to plan and corrective action. Traditionally, financial accounting is not supposed to supply information at shorter intervals that one year. Now, the next object that is the next object sorry not objective the next limitation that is it does not disclose the present value of the business. Um, in accounting in accounting the position of the business as on a particular date is shown by a statement known as balance sheet. The realized value of each asset if sold today can't be known by studying the balance sheet. Now the last limitation last but not the least is it permits alternative treatment. Accounting is based on concept and it follows gap that is generally accepted accounting principles but there exist more than one principle for the treatment of any one item that's why the results can't be comparable <clears throat> so in my today's class I have discussed about the meaning of accounting, objectives of accounting, advantages of accounting and limitations of accounting. So that's all from my today's class. Thank you.